ongoing on these dreadlocks. Now down there in Texas, and I seen something with uh, Ellen DeGeneres too. We'll deal with her in a minute. But I look, you know, they mess, they suspending the children if they don't cut their locks. They says, what do locks got to do with their education, man? You see what I'm saying? But they'll let them other boys walk mohawks and, and all this crazy stuff. But the little children can't rock their African lock. See, that's how you know it's African, too. Because the, some of the first people that they encountered, mate, when they started going into uh, 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 the center of Africa was the Mau Mau. And all of them rock dreads, man. You see what I'm saying? All of them rock dreads because there's some people out here that teach that Africans don't rock dreads. But what they don't know, since they never been, them are little children that go to school because they going to school to really get an education. They really go in there to learn not to write raps and talk to girls, man. So they make everybody wear a, a, a fade. So the children, you know, it won't distract them from their education, man. You see what I'm saying? Which they not distracted anyway because they focus on their education. You see what I'm saying? Now, in America, they trying to say, you know, because they dreads be different colors or whatnot, that they're going to distract the children in high school or, or in school or whatnot. Now, the Africans been doing that forever, man. Forever. And they didn't disrespect people and say, motherfucker, this is how it's going to go down and start chopping people up or whatnot. Now, they did do that in Jamaica, yo. The Rastafari used to have to hide, you know, their children. Their children couldn't go to school. They had to teach their own children or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? Because the government had it out for the locks people. You see what I'm saying? And locks people all over the world get them dirty looks. You see, we get them dirty looks. That's why I like to wear my rough and rugged. The show these motherfuckers, y'all ain't telling us what the motherfucking do all the time, man. We don't want to be y'all motherfuckers. And that shit make me mad. Done suspended the baby. You know what I'm saying? He was what and even Congo locks. They just, you know, the little twisties. You see what I'm saying? They, that mean they tried to make it look neat. You see what I'm saying? But you can't tell them because that's their heritage. You see what I'm saying? You can't go to the Jewish people and tell them to take their yarmulke off. And I wouldn't do that to the Jewish people. I'd be like, yo, I respect their culture or whatnot. Let them wear their yarmulkes. You see what I'm saying? So they not telling them to take that off because they know good and damn well them Jews are like, well, I'm closing the school down. You see what I'm saying? But they could make little black children. Because like I, I said, what's the uh science behind the locks? And see, 99.9% .9 of the people in America with locks do not know no science behind no locks. You know what them is? is fashion dreads. I mean, I'm just being they fashion dreads. Because if you don't have the information behind the science of the locks, man, then what you got that on your head for? I mean, really. I mean, really, just be for real. Why would you put something on your head that everybody hates? And go through all that and you don't got the information behind it. That means you ain't standing on nothing. For, for people in America, it's mostly a heritage. And when the people come for Africa and come from the islands, they think these little black Americans or whatnot, they think you Rasta people or Congo people or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? They think you, and that's, that's I heard them say it. And I have to tell them, I'll be like, nah. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a, it's a, it's a, a history behind it. It's a history behind it. Now, if you look at the Maroons in Jamaica, them peoples are straight up out of Kenya. Come from the Congo, come from the Mau Mau people, man. And that's how dreadlocks got popular in the Western world. It didn't come from no, because some people trying to teach that dreadlocks come from America. You ain't gonna ever, 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 gonna get nobody to believe nothing like that. It's ridiculous. That's the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. You see what I'm saying? And so you go look around in Africa because. The Mau Mau were not Rastafari. Rastafari was born. See, this is my culture now. Nah. It was born in, in the West. And it was they put it out here because of slavery, man. And it was they was trying to protect, you know, uh our African heritage, man. So we remember. Cause they the most African out of everybody in the West, man. 
the Rastafari, period. And then ain't nobody gonna never get over that. I mean, even before, you know, the black power community got, I'm just being real, you know, yeah, black power, yeah, okay, I understand that, you know what I'm saying? But that's one culture, nigga. Rastafari is black power, nigga. That protect the whites in the honor of our great ancestors and our great land of Mother Africa. And ain't nobody ever, I'm not going to ever, ever, ever let that go. I mean, we standing on that square, period. And ain't nobody going, I'm not going to let nobody come out here and diss the global African family, period. I'm coming to see you. I'm not playing. You say one little thing bad about Africa, nigga, I'm going to jump through the screen. You see what I'm saying about what you say? I'm going to fuck with blood. Yeah. And see, and I mean that shit too. I mean that. So they making the babies cut their little locks because they know that this is an African heritage, man. If it was, you know, like some of these people said, from America. If it was from America, you know, it's American culture then. They wouldn't be having the babies cut their hair. Why? Because it's African culture, man. It's African roots and culture. Facts. And the global African motto is never again. So, like I said, keep on picking with the African people. I'm telling you. Oh, keep picking with us. Keep picking with us. So, Ellen DeGeneres. Now, I seen a quick clip of it. I didn't get to see who, who put the article out or whatnot. Just a couple days ago. She paid some little boy tuition, like $20,000 or gave him $20,000, you know, for him to cut his locks. And, you know, to, you know, and she, I think she the one that's petitioning this shit for the American schools to make people cut locks. It ain't, it ain't everybody to wear like they do in Africa, make everybody wear the same thing. That's a different story. She, they directed that shit straight at black people. And like, you can't even come to my school with that African shit on. You see what I'm saying? Now, if we was American and whatnot, and we was a part of this system, why would they refuse everything African, man? Why? Why? But then put in the Bible that Ethiopia is where man, where God first put man. All in the science books, Africa is the origin of the earth. You know what I'm saying? The, the humanity and whatnot. But that's, why would they do that and then refuse the African culture? Because they don't want you to know. They know most people. 99.9% .9 of America is not reading. And the black Indians is a product of that. You can tell. You see what I'm saying? You can tell. But they trying to destroy African culture, bro. They, I did a uh, video on the schools where they voted 7 to 1 to knock it down. To not to teach African studies in public schools. Why would they do that? They know how powerful that is. And if, if we were somebody else, and, you know, if we were some, some other people other than black people, right, why wouldn't they teach African history? Because if we weren't African or whatnot, like some people be saying, why wouldn't Because they teach French, they teach Spanish, because them people are just now coming over here. You see? See, that's, that's propaganda, yo. And they're going to keep African studies from you because it's powerful, man. It's powerful. It ain't no different than that lecture I dropped the other day. And the motherfucker came right over here like, no inappropriate something or something that what they said or whatnot. And they wouldn't let me put the lecture up here. So, dreadlocks is an African culture, man. Ain't nobody getting around that. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, they'll let everybody else bring their little culture, the little uh, whoever or whatnot. But soon as uh, black people bring the African culture, they always try to shut it down. They kick Colin Kaepernick out the NFL. Wearing my too many Malcolm X shirts and whatnot. Wouldn't kneel for the flag and shit. You know what I'm saying? They know how strong African culture is. And the people that's done been took away from it the furthest is the Africans in America, in North America. Everybody else around the world, South America, the islands, you know, uh, 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 Europe or whatnot, in Asia, they know they African people all around the world. You see what I'm saying? The only people that don't know is the only people that live in a society where it's more Europeans and all these other people than it is them. So all they doing, they the only people that's in the country that 
the only people that ain't never lived around black, they ain't never lived in a black country before. They don't even know what a black country look like. They don't even understand that black people got their own countries. They don't understand it. They have no concept of black countries or whatnot. The only thing that they see is America and these people. So that's who they follow, okay? That's exactly who they follow. Anything that's not black because they don't see no black people. You see what I'm saying? And you dare try to say, oh, no, nah, we, 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 we ain't none of them. You think you ain't going to ever get me to cut off my brothers and sisters in the islands. You never going to get me to cut off my brothers and sisters in South America. You never going to get me to cut off uh, my brothers in Africa. You're not never going to get me to cut off my brothers all and sisters all over in Europe. Nigga, that ain't going to ever happen. I never, I give up. I, I don't, we done gave up America for you. Yeah. For global Africa, motherfucker, we don't give a fuck what happened over here. That's just real. That's just real. Them little Indians about to take this shit, the real Indians, not no little coats or whatnot. So I'll be right back later. Gonna come right back later with another video. Jump out.